Two-parter. Today we're looking at Iron Maiden, which is really, which he is famously known for. So when I uh, thought Derek Riggs, Iron Maiden, I didn't realise how many album covers and single covers that he'd actually done. He's done 37 of them. So without further ado, let's crack on. Okay, then coming in at number 37 from 1993. A real dead one. I like the concept of the DJ, but I do not like that Eddie. It's probably one of the worst Eddies ever. I just don't like it. Don't like the album either. It's thrown together. Uh, coming in at number six, again from 1993, a real live one. Again, I, I like the concept, but I do not like that Eddie. It just not. To me, it's not Eddie. Uh, coming in at number 35, then. It's one of the, it's the first single we're going to look at. It's that the only number one from the band from 1990, Bring Your Daughter to the Slaughter. Um, the thing I do like you got to be very observant is if you look at the moon you got the bat sign in it which is pretty cool uh, and the post the Iron Maiden posts are on the wall I love all the little geezers around the bottom uh, and but I don't like the Eddie and I don't like the the woman bring your daughter to the slaughter nah not for me but it has got some nice little quirks on it Okay, then coming in at number 34 from 1988, it's the cover for the single The Evil That Men Do. I actually like this one, it's pretty cool. Uh, I do like the little man in Eddie's mouth, really, he's in prison, that's pretty cool. And I like the chap on the top of the head of Eddie, I think he's supposed to be the gremlin. One of the gremlins, that's what it looks like. It's a quite a fun cover. Okay, coming in at number 33. From 1982, it's the single cover of Number of the Beast. Um, it's okay, it's not my one of my favourites. Um, and the song Number of the Beast, it's one of them that if I never hear it again, I'm not going to get upset about. Okay, coming in at number 32 from the debut album Iron Maiden. That's a scary Eddie. And I'm glad it got better. I, 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 I just didn't. It's one of the scariest album covers I've got. Uh, next coming up is number 31. This was the last actual album that he did the whole artwork on. From 1999, Prayer for the Dying. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not keen on that one either. It's not the best. But it's not the worst. Okay, coming in at number 30. Uh, this is from a compilation live album. Um, although he didn't do it all, he, is con he did make a contribution to this one. It's the BBC Archives. I do like Eddie crushing the BBC there. <laughs> uh, it was Nico McBrainson going to the Bleeding Botch Up Company. Um, it's, it's quite a corky cover. <laughs> Coming in at for number 29, it's the single cover from 1983's Flight of Icarus. Again, I like this. I like Eddie's. I mean, he didn't get too close to the sun, Eddie shot him with a flamethrower. Right, <laughs> really good cover. 
coming in at number 28 uh, from 1988. It's the cover for Can I Play With Madness? I love this um, cover. It's really Can I Play With Madness? Yes. I like the video to this because it's got one of the last appearance of Python's Graham Chapman. Fantastic video. Coming in at number 27 then. Uh, single Holy Smoke from 1990. Pretty good uh, cover that is. Ra Eddie rising out the uh, bonfire and all the TVs. Not a bad song either. Uh, okay, moving on. Number 26 uh, from it's the Inf Infinite Dreams 1989 live version. Um, it's it's okay. I prefer if you know the the um, live album. I think it was a you know do something different. It's not much different from the other one. The only difference in this is he's on a motorbike on this one. Okay, coming in at number twenty five, second album, Killers, nineteen eighty one. Eddie's got a little bit better. Um, I think it's okay that cover. Okay, another one from 1981 now. The EP Made in Japan. Eddie with a samurai sword. Pretty cool. Um, the EP that it actually. It's an unofficial, the longer version is an unofficial album, and it's really good. Um, coming in at number 23, another single album, single album, a single cover, 1984's Two Minutes to Midnight. I just love that cover. <laughs> Eddie, sort of like a mummy, and all the nation's flags, let's say at the United Nations really good cover coming in at number 22 from 1983 it's the single the trooper that is a fantastic cover um, it's a great song uh, lovely guitar solos in that and I just love that cover coming in at number 21 then from 1982 single run to the hills um, it's not Eddie having a go at the devil that I like. It's all the little creepy crawlies around the bottom here. Pretty cool. Coming in at number 20 then. A single, one of the early singles from 1981, Purgatory. It's quite different. you got Eddie and the devil mixed into one. Pretty cool. Coming in at... Number 19, another single from that period, 1981, Twilight Zone. This is quite eerie. The ghost of Eddie in the background, a picture of Eddie on the uh, dressing table. Pretty cool. Coming in at number 18, another single cover, this time from 1980. It's Running Free. Really good cover. Like Eddie's hand in the corner here. Or in the shadow of Eddie in the corner here as well. Really good. Okay, number 17. This is a compilation album. Came out in 1989 time. Uh, somewhere back in time. I love this. It's the... Basically, you've got Power Slave. And it, Eddie comes out the top of that from... The next album, pretty cool. I like that cover, really good. Okay, then coming in at number 16, another single cover Sanctuary from 1980. Bit controversial, this one was. Um, Derek Riggs uh, said that he, he was not a great fan of Maggie Thatcher, and you can tell because the head is Maggie Thatcher wrapped up in an Iron Maiden poster but I think she was ripping down so Eddie killed her interesting okay coming in at number 15 is another compilation album 
uh, called The Best of the Beast from 1996. I love this cover because it's got all depictions of Eddie. Very, very clever and a great cover. Coming in at number 14. Uh, fourth album, I think then, 1983's Peace of Mind. First one Nico McBrain played on. Very good album. Very underrated as well. Um, love that cover. Eddie in chains and in a padded cell. Coming in at number 13, we have a live album again. From 1985, Live After Death. That is a terrific cover. From a really good album. Love, I love the colour of it. It's stunning. Coming in at number 12, is 1982's album, third album, Number of the Beast. Classic album, classic cover. Brilliant. Coming in at number 11 then. This was the box set from 1990 that we had to collect over so many weeks. All the singles on it. And the best thing about it was and not a lot of people know that. Nico McBrain talking about the songs. It's, it's such a wonderful box set and I love this box set cover. I got all mine on CD and uh, I've still got it today and it's somewhere safe. Uh, love that. Although it's got up the irons and great stuff. Okay, top 10. Coming in at number 10 then, a single from 1986. One of my favourites, Wasted Years. Very, very clever cover. Uh just love it lovely colors lo and I like Eddie, the little Eddie on the screen fantastic coming in at number nine 1985 single off live after death run to the hills and where below there it is back on the wall I love that you've got you've got Eddie playing the organs on a hill fantastic great cover Coming in at number eight, uh, live album from 2013. Um, although this came out on a video, uh, video when it back in '88, it's the Maiden England. Uh, the only just a lot the cover for Infinite Dreams. The only difference is he's on a horse here, and I prefer this because it's the charge. And I was at that concert. I think I went. I can't remember if I went on the first day or the second day, but I was there. Coming in at number seven, another single, one of their first singles from 1980, Women in Uniform. Again, Maggie Thatcher. Eddie bit with some roadies, some groupies. And Maggie Thatcher's there with a gun, dressed in the uniform, ready to shoot him. Yes. Great song, though. Okay, coming in at number six. Uh, an album cover from 1984, the brilliant Pat Power Slave. That is an awesome cover. Um, I'm into Egyptology, and what a combination. Eddie, one of the pharaohs, fantastic. Coming in at number number five, the next album from Power Slave, 1986 is Somewhere in Time. I love this cover. It, I mean, I love. Blade Runner anyway I saw them on this tour and it's a shame they never ever recorded this as a live album because this show was fantastic um, I have got a rather dodgy bootleg that someone put together on um, on YouTube and I put it into a playlist and somehow I managed to accidentally on purpose rip it and have a play with it and get it into a reasonable sounding uh, track um, but yeah great cover the back of the cover is great as well uh, it's a brilliant cover okay coming in at number four uh, single cover from 1984 Ace is High Eddie is a 
fighter pilot, Spitfire pilot, fighting in World War II. Uh, love the song. Uh, great cover. Okay, then coming in at number three. Another single from 1986, Stranger in a Strange Land. Fantastic cover. Eddie is Clint Eastwood, I think. And the song's brilliant anyway. One of Adrian Smith's finest. Okay then, coming in at number two. Now, Derek didn't do the whole of this cover. He contributed to it. It's an, the comeback album with Bruce and Adrian, Brave New World from the year 2000. And it's pretty obvious what bit uh, Derek did. I love that cover. Uh, I just love... you got this surreal London, Brave New World and all that. And then you got Eddie giving it... Bleh. So, my favourite cover. Coming in at number one, of course, Seventh Son of the Seventh Son. Brilliant album. Brilliant cover. And a brilliant gig. Saw them twice on this tour, at Donington and at the NEC for that live recording. And the um, stage set was fantastic. Um, can't get any better than that quality album quality artwork so that's Mr Riggs doing Iron Maiden now while I was doing this I found some other album covers that he's done for other bands and some surprises in there so next week we're going to have a look at them and then I'm going to don't know what I'm going to do um, I would like some ideas from you guys. It doesn't have to be an artist. Uh, I can look. We can look at band covers just of a band. Uh, or I might actually do some more. I'll travel the net and see if I can find some more stinkers because I did like doing that show. Okay, that's all for today. Um, time to edit all this and get it up on the channel so you guys are actually can watch as you're watching it i've got to put some work in to get it up there if you like what we're doing um you know what to do give me a like make some comments and subscribe subscribes are coming up again we've got a few more this week um so the goal of getting 50 before my birthday is looking good um there'll be a little bit tonight um, just to catch up I'm not going to record it I'm actually going to do it live because it's a lot easier than have to sit there and render it and all that so and it's automatically up there so um, if you're not doing anything round about eight ish if you want to see what's going on come and have a look I'm going to sort of try and see if I can get it onto um, Instagram as well so I will see you later. If not, I will see you tomorrow. It's Friday, the last day of the week, last shows. And what have we got for you tomorrow? Oh, Black Sabbath live albums. That's going to cause a lot of controversial stuff, that is. Because we've got... Uh, I've even included the Heaven and Hell albums. Because it's Black Sabbath to me. And then we're going to have a look at a not a one-hit wonder. It's they've only released the one album, but we're going to look at the Mongolian rockers, the Who, spelled H, U. So that's all for tomorrow. Whatever you're doing for the rest of the day, or if you're chilling out watching this, I'll see you tomorrow. And take care, everyone. Oh, hello! I thought I'd surprise you. Now I've been doing these shows now for, since May. And for the first time ever, I forgot to put something in. It's the cover of the live album released in 2002, Beast Over Hammersmith. So I can't, I'm not going to rank it now because I can't, but there it is. One cover that I forgot to put in. It's alright.
bit plain, but the album is brilliant. So there we go. That is definitely the last bit for today. Have a nice day. Bye.